in this short video, I'm going to talk about biblical pronouns. Yes, biblical pronouns. Not that heretical, transgender, whatever, reprobate so-called pronoun about he, him, his, or she, her, her, or whatever the heck they're saying today, whatever they falsely identify as, as of Satan, of course, we're talking about biblical pronouns out of the King James Bible, such as I, you, ye, thou, thee, and many others that may refer to a person or a group of people. So yes, why does the King James Bible use pronouns such as the ones that I stated or let me put this in a more perspective. Why does the New King James, which is a heretical version, get rid of pronouns? Because it gets rid of some very important things, my friends. For example, let's talk about John 3, 7. The King James says in John 3, 7, Marvel not that I say unto thee, ye must be born again. NIV, for example, modern corrupted Vatican approved Bible, quote unquote, version, John 3, 7, you should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. So just take that, for example, when Jesus is talking to Nicodemus, King James, which is God's inspired, preserved word without error, ye must be born again. He's not just talking to Nicodemus by saying, you must be born again if you want to go to heaven. No, he's talking about Every single person who is breeding in order to go to heaven, ye, which is plural, everybody must be born again to go to heaven. Not that everybody is going to go to heaven, but the only way is through Christ and ye must be born again. So if you think about it, the King's James is correct. All KJV pronouns are either singular or plural. It's very important, but modern corrupted Bibles take this out. For example, all the T pronouns are singular, thou, thee, thy, and thine. They always refer to one person or thing. When you take a look at the Y pronouns, um, I'm sorry, the T's are singular, and yes, the Y's are plural. You have, for example, you, ye, your, yours. They're always referring to more than one person or thing. Okay, it's very important that we have biblical pronouns, not this heretical, transgender, sodomite, satanic pronouns. No, me, you, them. Yes, first, second, and third person is very important to God. It's very important to understand the subjects and the objects of how God is explaining. For example, she is feeding her. We have the subject and and the object, my friends. There are many important reasons that I could go on to explain why it's important to have biblical pronouns, but this is a short video, and I want to encourage you, look to the King James Bible. If you read and write English, that's your Bible that God has given you, ye, everybody in the English language. And of course, of course, my friends, we need discernment because we cannot be deceived. We cannot be fooled by heretical Bibles, okay? New Age Bible version, that's all they are, the new corrupted ones. They use manuscripts that perhaps have been found in trash cans on the property of the Vatican and just places that come from cults, my friends. Stick to the time-proven the correct, the majority text, which is the King James Bible, my friends. It cannot steer you wrong. So thanks for listening. If you have any questions or comments or anything you'd like to share, let me know. May you look to Christ today.